Hey guys, this is news from Fresh Racing Box. For this video, we'll cover the results of the two last work weeks about the championship that we're taking part in, about the pro car and the cool innovation that were implemented in this pro car. Spoiler, it is quick change differential. Uh, before we'll start, make sure to be subscribed on our YouTube channel, uh, have a like and share this video with your friends. And let's get started! After the latest news, we were taking part in two, but actually three, championships. And we performed so well, thanks to the preparation and the common trainings of our drivers, and of course the great performance of the car, uh, we succeed with all these championships. Uh, the first one was the Tilas Han, and uh, thanks to all this preparation, we easily got out the top 16, and then at the top 8, both of our pilots into uh, Nissan Z, I mean Anatoly and Dennis, uh, meet each other and uh, fortunately one of them got to the uh, top four. So after this top four, Denis succeeded with the competitor that he had and won the first place. It was really something. So straight after, we've got to prepare and reinforce a bit and adjust a couple of stuff in uh, this boat Z. And uh, the third one was uh, ready for the uh, second stage. So, uh, the second stage was the LIVA uh, championship, so it was uh, inside the LIVA Fest and we've got the two championships in a row. And so the first day was with three Nissan Z and three our drivers, it was Denis, Anatoly and Ilya, the third our driver. And the second day was the Pro uh, inside the EDC and we were participating with the BMW and Supra. Of course, we'll show you all the details of this uh, championship that were before uh, with our uh, whole film, so wait for it. But in a nutshell, uh, how was the Liva? So, uh, the uh, qualifying we've got brilliantly, so we had the uh, second, the third and the fifth place uh, of the qualifying round. And uh, thanks to uh, these results, we've got the, uh, all, all three different parts of the uh, bracket for the tandem elimination round and it uh, saved us. So all of three our cars got to top 8, but in the final round we've got only Denis and Anatoly. So it was really amazing, super professional tandem round with all the uh, tough and uh, rigid stuff with uh, doors and doors. completely in a different professional level of uh, the pro drivers and Dennis got the first place and Anatoly uh, second one uh, by the way Ilya uh, fifth one so we had the great result it So for this first time for this season we've got uh, top 8 places and uh, we consider it like the good result. And by the way, feel free to congrats us in the comments or uh, like or share this video. So after the return into the box, we consider and point all of our attention on the adjustment on the baby Z and of course to uh, assemble and consider the Pro 1. Frankly speaking, the reliability of every drift car depends on the key factors like uh, weight distribution, assembly of the engine, suspension, etc. But the main and the um, most frustrating breakdowns happens and occur in the transmission. And in this case, you just don't uh, have an opportunity to continue the race or you're just repairing for the uh, couple of hours or uh, the half an hour uh, this heavy and already overheated parts and it always uh, makes the mess in this your game. As for the first three part, uh, you can use the stock one for the time being, but uh, what's connected with the rear deep, uh, you know, the stock one uh, will be break, uh, but it's just a matter of time when it will be. Uh, the stock one is usually works on not more than uh, 500 horsepower and it's better to use the sports one as itself uh, from the scratch and when you're building the drift car. For the effective driving on the different layouts, and as you know, different layouts require the different uh, ratio of the uh, rear dip. 
uh, you need to change it and of course if you have the stock one you're just bringing with yourself and carry five or six per race and every time you're changing it uh, before uh, the training it's inconvenient so uh, the very solution to use the uh, quick change differential as uh, we use and now uh, starts the main part uh, we'll tell you about the Pro Z uh, Quick Change Differential by Bulldog that we're using on this our Pro car. And to make this um, explanation the clear as it could be possible, uh, we'll tell with the main engineer Kirill and he'll tell us all the advantages of this Quick Differential. If you are building a drift car uh, with a very par powerful engine, it's better to use uh, that differential named Bulldog. Inside this differential you can uh, see lower shaft, uh, which provides uh, the torque from uh, drive shaft to uh, rear gears, short shaft uh, from uh, straight gears to high point, change the direction of torque uh, from drive shaft to wheels. The main feature of uh, using this uh, differential is that you can uh, change the gear ratio uh, very fast. If you training or uh, driving on different track, you have to use uh, very different uh, gear ratios and if you to, uh, use stock differential you have to use two three or more uh, with you every time but in this case you can drive only with uh, some gears uh, in boxes and you can change it in uh, five minutes after that uh, you can disassemble it uh, this time we have uh, the same uh, gears with uh, the same uh, quantity of teeth but if you have uh, another pair of uh, gears you can uh, use it in uh, one position uh, when smaller is uh, on upper shaft and uh, bigger in lower in other way bigger gear in upper shaft and uh, smaller on lower and now i will show you how it works we can assemble it uh, this way and have uh, one gear ratio but if we want to change it we can change the position and uh, we will have uh, another gear ratio. Uh, as you can see we can uh, make it uh, so fast but uh, this time we have no oil in uh, differential so very clean but uh, on track uh, you must uh, be ready that uh, you will have to uh, add uh, some oil after changing the gear ratio. This differential designed for have two options and one of them designed for 1000 uh, horsepower with uh, heavy duty lower shaft and uh, another option is uh, for 1500 horsepower with uh, Vasco Max uh, lower shaft. This differential is uh, universal, uh, you can use it in uh, every car, uh, but uh, to install that you have to uh, make a new drive shaft and uh, make or buy new subframe. One of our products is a uh, rear subframe uh, for this quick change uh, rear end uh, for uh, Nissan uh, 370Z and 400Z. We chose the uh, differential uh, for our products, uh, for our projects, uh, because it's the best solution on market for now. So, did you prove that it's uh, the best engineering solution on the market for the quick change differential? I hope yeah. Uh, according to the purchase, you can uh, write us on Instagram or in a YouTube channel here and uh, we'll discuss with you all the details. As you see, it was the main news from the box and uh, we'll see you in the next video when we'll tell you about the championship itself, how we got the grassroots on the uh, Liva and Etilal Suihan and uh, see you later.